Transport Standards are under review. The Martin Inquiry recommended that they be reviewed in January 2020 and a task group from Queensland is running it. Because it is a federal issue, all groups from states and territories are being consulted. Currently horses can be transported for 24 hours with no food and water. Meet Our Horse Meat has been calling for a review for a few years now because it is horses of low value that are enduring this cruelty on their way to slaughter. We have a petition that has currently reached 11.7 thousand signatures. Please see the link in the text below and urge your friends to sign it. Horses being transported to slaughter are in open top crates with flooring that is suited to cattle. They are at the mercy of the elements and often with strange horses. Many arrive injured after a journey that can last over 30 hours. There is no monitoring or enforcement of standards. Our standards are well behind the UK and EU where 8 hours is considered a long journey. In 2019 there were 16 animal welfare reports about horses arriving at Maramist Abattoir. An animal welfare report is generated at an export abattoir when an animal arrives with serious injuries or is not fit to the load. Watch our film Dead on Arrival. See link below. The dead horse has been dead over 24 hours. How long was the journey? The mare with the broken fetlock remained standing for the whole journey. Horses are herd animals, they endure pain to remain standing so a predator cannot get them. In this case, a horse that falls down gets trampled and causes panic with the other horses. Apparently the mare with the septic laceration in great pain, is a silly issue according to the dogger. The emaciated mare is from another dogger that wants to get meat money and like the others has no empathy for suffering horses. Australian transport standards for horses do not reflect the scientific research. One of the stated aims of the review is that our standards do adhere to scientific research. Having an empty stomach is a stress situation for a horse. Can you imagine the amount of acid buildup there is for horses on these intolerable journeys? Fit to load is a stipulation of the standards but there is no enforcement. In the Martin Inquiry it said transporters operate with impunity. Many knackeries will come and shoot on sight and take the body away, so there is actually no reason to send a horse to the sales or a dogger. None at all. Unless you want to cash in that poor body. Put horse welfare first. Prosecute violations of the transport standards. Ensure that transporters upload a photo of their brakes, food and watering. Put horse welfare first.